Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Rebecca and tonight we're going to do a adaptive yoga class or a chair yoga class. This is really good for highly inflexible people or seniors that just want to get back into their groove or into their shape and it really works a more slower pace. You will need a folding chair and you're going to need one block tonight. So I am going to set my block down beside me and let's go ahead and we're going to sit up with our feet nice and flat, legs at a 90 degree angle, spine in line with your hips, head over heart. You can roll your shoulders back and look forward and we're just going to inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. We're just going to do this for five full breaths at your own pace. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, and we're going to try to touch our fingers to the floor and bring our head to the earth. We're going to inhale and exhale. Again, we're going to do this for five full breaths. Inhale and exhale. Sit up tall, roll your shoulders back. We're just going to do a leg lift. We're going to lift our leg. Inhale, exhale. Other side. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more time on each side. Inhale and exhale. All right, you can sit. We're going to grab our foot and we're going to bring it up into our figure four. Sorry, I kind of got a little crazy with my foot there for a second. And you can press on your leg if you would like. You can press down to get a little bit of a deeper stretch as you inhale and exhale. We're going to do this for five breaths. Inhale, exhale, foot down. We're gonna grab our foot and we're gonna put it up on opposite sides. So now I have my right leg up into figure four and you can press down on that. Ooh, my hip is pretty tight tonight. Um, so inhale and exhale. Remember five full breaths. I like to do chair yoga on the yoga mat because it gives more stability to your chair as well. Um, that way you don't slide uh, some of these moves that we do tonight. You could slide around maybe. So we're going to inhale, foot back down. We're going to grab our block and we're going to bring our, our legs wide. And we're going to stick our block between our feet and we're going to put our hands on the back and we're going to inhale and exhale. Come sit straight up and down, inhale 
And exhale, straight hip opener. You can probably feel it opening your hips. Um, inhale. And exhale. All right, inhale, grab your block, set it to the side because we are not going to need that um, anymore. We only had one stretch with the block, and we're going to sit up nice and tall, and then we're going to inhale, and we're going to bring our arms up, and then down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, one more time, inhale, and exhale, all right, hands to your knees, get nice and stable, and we're going to inhale, you're just going to lift up, and you're going to come down, okay, and we're going to do five of these, inhale, and exhale, you're not quite sitting all the way back, inhale, and exhale, on your chair, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, down, all right, you're going to stand up and you're going to come to the back of your chair, you're going to hold on, you can move your chair up a little if you need to. You're going to hold on to the back of your chair, and you're going to inhale, and then you're going to exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. You're only using your chair for stability. Inhale, exhale. You're not like grabbing onto it and using it, so inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, all right, come back around to the front of your mat, I'm going to scoot my chair back just a little, so you're going to bring yourself, you know, about three or four feet away, then you're going to come down, you're going to cross your arms, I'm going to step back just a little, and bend your knees and put your forehead on the edge of the chair. We're in down dog with a chair. And inhale and exhale. on up, okay, and we're going to inhale, we're going to come down, and exhale up, inhale, and exhale, All right, come around. I'm gonna move my chair just a little bit again. We're gonna do a hamstring stretch. So if you have a folding chair, this is really good. Um, with the chair, I'm gonna straighten up just a little. The chair is on a little bit of an angle. So you want to just bring your foot up. Your foot should be flexed. And we're just gonna come down just a little bit and up. So inhale and exhale. One more. Bring your foot out, and we're gonna switch sides. That's a moment, but we're gonna switch sides. We're gonna bring our foot in, our left foot up. We're gonna do the same thing. Inhale, exhale.
gonna come up, you're gonna bring your, you're gonna come at kind of an angle. This is why I say do it on a yoga mat because of the, um, you don't want your chair to slip. So you're gonna plant your right foot and you're just gonna bring your left foot behind you for a hamstring lift. You're gonna inhale and exhale. Switch sides, right foot back now. Just make sure you're natural breathing. Your foot should be flexed down. You shouldn't be putting too much pressure on the chair. Um, the chair is mainly here for just added support. It's not necessarily there for leverage. All right, come back. Now for the rest of them, we want to just bring our chair up. So for the next one, we're gonna put our leg on the chair, our arm, and we're just gonna bring, we're just gonna pull forward. Okay, so your left foot is up, your right hand comes to the chair, and your right, your right hand comes to the floor, sorry. Your left leg is up on the chair. Your right, your left hand comes and grabs the back of the chair and your right hand touches the floor. Five breaths, remember, inhale and exhale. back up, come to center, we're gonna turn around. I'm gonna turn around this time. So your right leg now is up on the chair at an angle, and your right hand comes down, grabs the chair, and your left hand comes to the floor. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, come back to center, turn around. So kind of the same move, left foot up, but we're going to step our right foot back. So we're gonna be in a warrior position with our foot and we're just gonna lunge. You're gonna bring your hand out and you're gonna grab the chair with your left hand and you're gonna stand in a lunge. If you would like to go a little farther, you can come and stand in a lunge on your chair. But for right now, we'll stand with our leg pivoted in the back as well as in the front. And we're, if you would like, you can come up into your warrior two. But for now, just stand. You can bring your arm up or you can bring it out. Inhale. up we're going to switch sides so we're going to turn around right foot on the chair bringing that right foot back step it out as far as you need again you can come into your lunge if you'd like but let's just stay in the easy position for right now inhale and exhale back to center. We're going to come on down to the floor. So get in line to where you can put your feet on the chair. Okay. And 
and we're just gonna lift our our butt up off the floor so we're gonna inhale lift exhale down you can go as high as you want but for right now we're just gonna go just a little bit um, off the floor so inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down And down, up, and down, up, and down. Last one, up, and down. All right. Now leave your feet up here. You can scoot back. I'm going to scoot back just a little. Get kind of comfortable. You can pull your legs through your folding chair if you'd like. And look up. We're going to stay in this Shavasana position for a couple minutes. Um, just think about how your body feels right now as we come to the end of our program and just thank you guys for coming and um, supporting me and I hope that I can help to you guys um, especially in the adaptive yoga place for the inflexible people so let's go ahead get comfortable and uh, we're gonna stay here for two to five minutes 